know the exam's coming up. Um, March and September for E4, E5, E6. Every January, let clockwork for chief. Um, you know, it, it would behoove us to study early and or continuously and you have know, flashcards and other tips that we're going to talk about. But we don't. Everybody wastes the last minute thinking, oh, I got this. You know, I'm just going to cram, you know, like a week before. That's what I, that's my method. I take a week's leave and, you know, before the exam and I just cram. And, and then you ask, well, how long have you been taking the E5 exam? And Oh, this is my seventh time. All right. Well, I see that method is working for you. <laughs> so why don't we talk about a new method that can maybe um, uh, accentuate your method, you know, or, you know, add to your method. Let's talk about something different. And there are ways that are published, you know, by scholars on how to take an exam. Somewhere in your head, you've either heard it, saw it, spoke it, taught it, visualized it. Somewhere in your brain is the answer to every test question on that exam. But you just don't know it. You don't know where it is. So it's all stored here with all of the upfront things you've learned in the last six months, the last year. If you're cramming, all that stuff crowds up front and all that other good stuff is way back, pushed back here now. So to tap your brain, if you will, Look at your brain as like a Rolodex. So when you're reading the question on an exam, cover the distractors with your uh, paper. They're not answers because only one of them is an answer. The others are distractors. So cover those distractors with your free piece of paper you know, that you have for your notes. Read the question. Force your brain to come up with the answer because it's in there somewhere. Now, it may not jump in the front of your brain and say, Petty Officer, right, the answer is, you know, C. But somewhere in there, it pushed forward. Now, uncover those distractors. If they're completely foreign to you, and the question is foreign to you, but one of those distractors just jumped right out at you, that's your answer. Because that's your brain working for you. Let your brain and your intelligence and your experience, your exposure, work for you. Don't wait for things to happen to you. Make them happen for you.